watching. This is a jewel inspired collab look with my good friend Supernova Rosie using the M. Weezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Tales. We were inspired to do a jewel theme look because the palette has a lot of rich colors. So I'm going to be doing an emerald look today which is perfect for a night out. I've already applied moisturizer to my face and of course my favorite eyeshadow primer which is the NYX HD eyeshadow base all over my lid. And we're going to start with a fluffy blending brush and here I'm just using MAC 224 but you can of course use whatever blending brush you have. And we're going to go into the palette and we're going to go into the caramel color which is a perfect medium brown color. And we're going to place that all over the crease and I'm just going to reapply it a few times until I get the intensity that I desire. So we want this color to show up as a transition color so you might want to reapply it a few times. Here I'm just using Sigma's all over blend brush, the E37. We're going to use the deep plum color, love this color, in the actual crease. So we are going to use that right in the crease, not above or below it, to create more depth to the look and also to make the eye look deeper and bigger. Now going back to the 224 brush that we were using before, we're going back in with that caramel color to blend everything together because the key to a good eyeshadow look is to blend your life away. All over eyeshadow brush, this is Just Sigma's E55 eye shading brush. We're going to uh, pick up the star of the show, <laughs> the green shade, which is called Emerald as you can see here, so gorgeous. And we're going to put that all over the lid, but you're going to leave a small space in the corner of the eye empty. Going back in with the 224 brush, I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of blending. We're going to lightly blend everything we have on our eyes together. Taking an angled eyeshadow brush, this one is from BH Cosmetics. Um, and the black color from the palette, which is called LBD or Little Black Dress. We're going to lightly tap that color and put it on the outer corner of our eye and then we're just going to drag it out a bit so to give kind of like a cat eye effect. And then we're just going to go back in with the 224 brush and blend it all together. Taking a cream or gel eyeliner, here I'm taking my trusty Sigma EO5 eyeliner brush, no I do not get paid by them, and my uh, e.l.f. cream liner in black and we're going to draw on a small wing, just keep it close to your eye and don't worry if you mess up because we're going to be smudging it out in a bit. Taking Sigma's small angle brush, E65, we're going to smudge out our eyeliner, which is why I said before, didn't matter if it's uh, neat or not, because we're just going to smudge it out anyways. With the BH Cosmetics angled brush, we're going to go into the palette and pick up some of that glisten uh, color. It's a beautiful sparkly champagne color. I absolutely love it. And we're going to put that on the inner corner of the eye, where we had initially left that space empty. Going back in with the Sigma E37 brush um, and that deep plum color that we used at the beginning, we're going to apply that color to the crease once more. Next, we're going to apply lashes. These are some no-name ones that I got at the makeup show. I guess they're number 117. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some dual glue on them and then just put them on. shadow brush and reapply the green color because with all the blending that we've done the colors lost some of its vibrancy and we want to bring it back here I'm using the BH cosmetic brush once more and the glisten color again just to make sure that the color hasn't lost its pigmentation and now to hide the band of the lashes I'm going to place some of the cream liner over them And just using that angled brush from Sigma, I'm going to go ahead and just smudge out that liner. 
Using a pencil brush, this one is Sigma's E30 pencil brush, I am going to pick up some of that emerald color and apply it to my lower lash line. And now with the same brush, I'm just going to dip it into that deep plum color and just apply that to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Taking Sigma's E70 concealer brush, I'm going to dab some of the Legend color on my brow bone for a highlight. We're done with the eyes guys! Taking my Eco Tools angled brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills dual brow powder um, in dark brown, I am going to fill in my eyebrows. Moving on to foundation, I am using YSL's Le Teint Touche Eclat foundation in B60 with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I'm going to apply my Smith's Rosebud salve to my lips to diminish the cracks in them and to moisturize my lips as well. Taking my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and my Revlon Color Stay Powder in light, I'm going to powder my face to set the foundation. Now it's time to contour and bronze up the face. I'm using my NARS Eda brush with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to contour out those cheekbones and give my face more of a bronzed feel. blush brush and my very busted MAC Dane blush. I'm going to apply blush to my cheeks, nose and chin for that natural flushed look. Almost forgot to put on mascara. So here I'm just using my Maybelline Volume Express mascara which is one of my favorites to merge my natural lashes with my falsies. As are the only feature you want to stand out, then use a nude lipstick like the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Nude. If you want a more bold look, then use a baby doll pink lipstick with this look. I'm using Lime Crime's Great Pink Planet and then you are all done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Products used list will be down below as well as all of my links. And don't forget to subscribe to my friend Rose's channel as well. She is awesome and her link will be in the description tab below. Thanks for watching. Bye.